BKFC 52, we're in South Carolina in the hometown guy. Jeremiah the Prophet Scott was victorious tonight against a very tough guy in Chevy Bridges who fought differently. When you were watching film footage on your opponent, it was different from what you saw out of him tonight. He fought a, little, a more cerebral fight against you. He changed up his style a little bit, but you came through and you got that victory. Tell us a little bit about that fight. Yeah, I wouldn't say he really changed up his fight style much. Um, he showed a lot of uh, forward pressured. And uh, in the second round, I had to figure out how to handle that. And that was me staying in the center of the ring. But me and my coach, Nick, over here, we had been focusing on uh, staying out of the way of that uh, left hand he likes to throw, which he caught me with in the first round, I believe it was. Um, but it, that's what got me my finish. I leaned back out of the way, out of that straight left, and hit him with the jab cross. That's what dropped him and uh, ultimately got me the victory. But uh, we knew what we, were, uh, we had against us. And uh, I had to overcome adversity. And that's what we came here to do, man. We came here to give the fans exactly what they want. People work really hard to pay for tickets to come out here and watch. And I want to give them exactly what they paid for. Even if it's just me, I'll make sure everybody gets their money worth. BKFC is going to want somebody like me around. I'm here to change the game. And I'm also here to change my life for not just me, but for my family. Well, I can tell you right now, you came out here. You got style. You got a crowd behind you. You had one of the biggest pops of the night. Uh, how good did it feel to, to win in front of your people? There's no better feeling to uh, overcome, overcome what I came, overcame tonight. Uh, I went through a lot of mental shit through there, man, that made me have to push beyond what most people would normally quit. I've, I've grown so much as a man after tonight, and uh, the sky's the limit for me, man. I, I, just, I couldn't be more happy, more excited for what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to blow this shit up, man. Something's coming for me. So Outstanding stuff, man. You definitely showed resilience with that drop in the first round. You got back up. You pulled yourself together. You came through victorious. What do you want next? You want to fight as soon as possible? I see you're all nice on the hands, just a little banged up. That's what happens in bare knuckle. Um, we trying to get back in there soon? Yeah, I mean, if the, uh, if the offer's right, of course, uh, for me to fight bare knuckle and stuff, I'm going to have to get paid right. I'm going to have to get taken care of. This shit's extremely dangerous. Um, but wherever life wants to take me, I am effective in all aspects of life. MMA, boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, bare knuckle, Brazilian jiu-jitsu. I am a problem anywhere you put me in life. So if the phone call's got the right the calls on it, I'll be there. But you're going to have to take care of me because I'm what the business wants. People look for people like me. And i got good years on me, but I'm going to make sure I get paid for these years. Wow. Well, I think we got another star in the making here. You got a lot of charisma and you got a lot of a lot of fight in you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Congratulations you, on your victory. Thank you. Any final words? Thank you, Jesus. I love you so much, man. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do any of this. There it is. Jeremiah's got the profit. Good job, buddy. You really blew it up tonight. Thank you. Yeah.